All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about President Joe Biden's approval ratings and some of the American sentiment that has been shared in a new poll, according to the New York Times and Siena College. And uh, to be honest, man, it, it's not a good outlook. This is not a good video to make. This is not something that I really was hoping would happen, anything that I was kind of hoping to talk about. But obviously, the world is not necessarily heading in a great direction. And here in the United States, life is probably also not heading in the right direction. Everybody's really worried, man, and rightfully so. I mean, there's talks of another recession coming up in the next few months. The prices of everything are skyrocketing, including gas, food, rent, all kinds of things. The government is doing very unpopular things right now. They are actually, it seems like, not really like supporting the will of the people, which is obviously the whole point of the government in the first place, or what the whole point of the government's really supposed to be in the first place. It's not really that anymore, unfortunately, but it just isn't looking great, man, and Americans are more pessimistic than they've ever been, and I can't blame people because, well, we're living through what feels like the end times sometimes, right? So, Joe Biden Biden's approval rating is absolutely falling through the floor and the amount of support that Joe Biden has has actually fallen to such a critically low level that his own political party doesn't even really back him anymore and well the majority of Democrats want a new presidential candidate in 2024. So right now Biden's legacy is completely falling apart and you guys know me I try to stay pretty neutral here on the channel with like uh, the political videos and stuff so I'm not criticizing Biden because I'm some big Trump fan or something like that in all reality man it just hasn't been the best presidency you know what I mean it's not like life has gotten noticeably better under the Biden administration for very many people it seems like the only people that life has gotten better for in the last I don't know two years or so has been the ultra wealthy the people who already didn't really have to worry in the first place and when that's the case obviously the majority is gonna start to dislike you as the president so President Biden is facing an alarming level of doubt from inside his own party with 64% of Democratic voters saying that they would prefer a new standard bearer in the 2024 presidential campaign, according to a New York Times slash Siena College poll, as voters nationwide have soured on his leadership, giving him a meager 33% job approval rating. Widespread concerns about the economy and inflation have helped turn the national mood decidedly dark, both on Mr. Biden and the trajectory of the nation. More than three quarters of registered voters see the United States moving in the wrong direction, a pervasive sense of pessimism that spans every corner of the country, every age range and radical or racial group cities suburbs and rural areas as well as both political parties only 13 percent of american voters said the nation was on the right track the lowest point in times polling since the depths of the financial crisis more than a decade ago and you gotta think man this isn't even the full extent of it right like in the next few months they're talking about we're about to enter another recession right if I'm not mistaken, if the GDP growth comes out for Q2 and it's negative, we'll actually automatically be considered in a recession. A lot of the warning signs are flashing. I, I think like the, what is the bond yields or whatever actually inverted. And that's usually a pretty telltale sign that a recession is coming. That actually just happened, I think, in the last week or so. There's a lot of things going on right now that are just flashing the warning signs of a recession. And obviously that's the last thing that most Americans and realistically most people in the world want right now because we just got out of a big economic turmoil with the whole pandemic and everything the world's already been going through enough over the last few years and then even just before that like a decade before that there was a global financial crisis then the great recession so at this point in my life man i'm a young adult right i'm a young man uh, i'm kind of stepping into the roles of what like an adult in america kind of goes through and i'm about to live through my third recession of my lifetime and bro i'm still young like this is not the america that we were promised when i was a kid you know what I mean this is not the outcome that we were promised when I was younger growing up you know we were always told that America is the greatest country in the world that America is just the greatest place to be and a lot of the times I don't disagree with that I do think that overall America is a pretty good country I mean the way of life here is definitely a lot better than it is in a lot of places around the world I mean there's people who starve here and go through a lot of horrible things but in general life in the United States I mean I would definitely prefer to live here than in like North Korea or like like some impoverished third world country so it just kind of sucks to see that we were just sold snake oil growing up on what the united states would be like for us 
And so many people are pessimistic about the outcome of the United States and like what we're going to get out of this whole situation uh, that it just it's depressing, man. I mean, people just don't really believe in America like they used to. And can you blame them? Can you really put it the fault on them? I mean, this country is definitely heading in the wrong direction. I, I think everyone agrees with that. Like you can't look at pretty much any objective measurability of of the situation and be like, oh, yeah, you know, the country's heading in the right direction. This is the outcome come that we should hope for with our country like nobody's saying that man and it's gotten to the point where biden has kind of wore out his welcome with the majority of americans you know when he was first in office and everything i feel like a lot of people gave him a little bit of benefit of the doubt oh he's new he's trying to figure it out he's got a lot of things that he needs to get done and you know there's a lot of changes to make you got to give him time well he's had time now you know what i mean he's definitely had the ability to make some changes and he's definitely had the ability to put some of his legacy on the line now and it's just been a complete flop so if i can say one thing that i really really despise about joe biden as president it's his lack of accountability now i understand that pretty much every politician does this they kind of just circle around the question and they never really address it head on because they want to keep the voters in check and everything they want to keep people uh i i guess like on their side so they don't really want to like take accountability for it but one of the big platforms joe biden had before he was president when he was running against donald trump was i'm gonna take accountability when i get in office you'll finally have a dependable president that you can point the finger at when there's a problem he made it out like he was going to be this guy that just kind of came in took responsibility for all the issues and just took over and started fixing problems left right and center right he was going to take responsibility even when he messed up but now that he's actually president and now that we've had multiple instances of him completely fucking the situation up the first thing joe biden and his team do is go to like twitter or the mainstream media and just fucking say it's not their fault and just completely shift the blame there's no responsibility in this administration whatsoever even when it's very clearly their colossal failure and their failure to administrate this administration is always on their heels talking about oh uh well it's this thing's fault or this person's fault or this reason why this happened and like i said i get that that's what politicians do you know politicians lie for a living i get that but don't sit there and fucking preach a big platform of taking accountability and taking responsibility for the real issues in society and the real issues that everyday americans have to deal with then when the time comes to do it you just completely back out of that responsibility that you've given yourself man it just it, it's a really garbage trait you know what i mean but as a young american what do i think of the biden presidency so far this might be one of the only times where i really give i guess my personal opinion on the politics that i'm talking about i am absolutely not impressed with biden and not because i guess everyone else is unimpressed with biden but because every major instance in his career of like leadership so far he has completely botched it he has completely failed it. I mean, let's be honest, we're talking about a guy who is at such a fucking declined mental state. He doesn't even know where he is half the time. He doesn't even know what he's saying half the time. Like, there was just a clip like three days ago of this guy reading off a fucking teleprompter, and he literally reads off the line that tells him to repeat the line. So, I don't know, he's like, I like double chocolate chip ice cream. Repeat the line. I like double chocolate chip ice cream. Like, that's the guy who has the fucking nuclear codes for the United States' arsenal, man. I, I personally don't feel like Biden or his administration have done anything for me. In fact, I feel like they've more or less hurt me in my time uh, being under their rule, I guess. And I feel like that's how the vast majority of other Americans feel as well. This guy's just not doing a good job. And I'm just going to openly say it. I usually don't talk about who I'm going to vote for or, or who I'm not going to vote for, but I'm absolutely not voting for Joe Biden if he runs again i didn't vote for him the first time i also didn't vote for trump to be fair but there's no chance in hell that i would vote for biden if he won another democratic nomination if the democrats can actually put somebody up to the table who i think is a legitimate possibility i guess to be a decent president they could get my vote but the same goes for the republican party or any third party as well i vote for the candidate personally i don't vote for the political parties and for the american idol nonsense that everyone else votes for i know that's kind of a rarity these days because you got to vote blue no matter who and all this other bullshit but i just i don't subscribe to that ideology man but i mean it's gotten to a point where biden's legacy is on the line it's not going well the american people definitely are not behind biden at this point and it's just ruining the image of his presidency and maybe rightfully so so with that being said thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and twitch at sub to optimus make sure to check out shoptimus down below
And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, not necessarily happy with the direction the country's heading in and signing out.